Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and I am back playing Albion Prelude, uh, X3 Albion Prelude, and I have just pushed the wrong button, I've pushed the D button, and I should probably undo that. Autopilot off. Oh crap, that's my mouse button. Yeah, I'm just trying to, I guess I want to tell myself to go to this gate. Where is it going to take me? Let's do this, let's press J. I figured out how to activate my SATA to 10 times. Now if you remember in the previous episode I did the first couple of missions which was basically shoot some bad guys and then spy on some bad guys so now I'm heading back to the good guys place uh, presuming that I'm on the right side you know these games sometimes the question of who's bad and who's good can uh, be open to question. Wait, this does not... Oh, I see how it's going. It's going to come around the front and then drive through there. So, uh, yeah, I had a bunch of people comment. A lot of people were commenting with, Oh, you should do this. Shift A is, is autopilot. Shift D is dock. Fix your SATA speed. It's all very much appreciated because I did find that the game comes with a manual. Um, oh, look. Oh. No aim. no aim? Okay, so there's a station that I'm supposed to be going to. I guess if I do no shift D. Granted. Excellent. Hey, excellent. So it's just going to do all this for me. I can just sit back and I don't need to listen to uh, the docking music, I guess. Which, Although I do like the docking theme. I have played X, the original X, Beyond the Frontier, and I, got, I quite enjoyed the theme. And I... I don't know, I guess from my original days playing Elite, I really thought the docking added a great deal to it, but of course flying at 10 times speed is nice. So, Successfully docked. I've... On behalf of our President and Senator, the Argon Federation is honoured to welcome you aboard. Well, Connection I'm honoured to, to be aboard. Okay, so how do I... Sergeant. Ah. While that meeting didn't involve the Terrans, it did answer a few questions about their recent activities. While I'm sure eyebrows will be raised about the Paranid being involved, we still have no proof that John Fricot are directly trading technology with the Terrans. We will continue to contact them through official channels for clarification on where they stand. You did well today. Feel free to go about your business. We will contact you again when we have another task for you. If you want to take some R&R away from the front, I hear some of the other pilots have been trying to play the stock market. If you play it right, it's easy money without beating a fleet of freighters. If you get it wrong, well, you can always eat in the mess, and the cost will be deducted from your next paycheck. Yeah, so I guess what they're saying now is, I'm on my own, so I can try and figure out how to make money. And this is where it actually gets hard, I guess. So I'm going to take a look at the sector map and see what we've got. We have military outpost, impulse ray emitter, shield production, solar power plant. So that seems like a good place to start because I know for a fact that they will produce, um, they will almost certainly produce uh, energy cells and I can sell those somewhere. But is there a trading post? There's a military outpost, um, Argon sector M148. The other thing I could look for is universe map. Argon sector, enduring, whatever, enduring light, um, how do I move this around, is that a click here, Albion Gamma, oh yeah, I guess that's Albion Prime, oh that's ultimately where we're going, and in this direction, nothing, nothing here, I should take a look and see if there's any other gates in this sector, right, so I switch to sector map. Is there, there's a gate north, no gate south, that's just a gate to enduring light. Hmm, okay, well uh, let's start by going to the solar power plant and let's take a look at the local trading network, right? Trade, trade, and I have 16 is the price here, so let's try going over to the solar power plant, right? Okay. There's my ship now. I guess I can undock this thing. Okay, so this is my spaceship. Okay. Um, and this is the prototype. Let's, oh, let's go forwards. Oh, crap. I keep pushing the right button on my mouse, which is not good because that's the fire button. 
Okay. Ooh, what is this thing? That's a that's a mission icon. Those things up there are icons that tell me what missions are going on. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do. Medium shield. Medium production shield complex. production complex. Alpha. Now I'm looking for I'm looking for a something that I can buy some stuff. I am totally lost playing this game. Aha! That! That looks like a solar production facility thingy, right? So if I click on that, and then solar do Shift D, see what it does. Okay, so it's gonna fly, and then I can do Time Acceleration. Sergeant, please return to Sector M148. There have been developments with John Fricot. I've already... I'm already there! Ah, if I do that, you're gonna give me a mission, aren't you? Jump again! Not jump. Time Accelerate. There we go, look, it's coming in here. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of people offer to help me with this game, and I did find a manual, and I read a ton of stuff, and as you can see, it hasn't actually translated to, to any uh, help. So let's take a look at the trade menu. On behalf of our president Crystals. Senator, the Argon Federation is honored to welcome you aboard. So I can, Connection to local trade there, I can buy these, right? So how do I do this? Buy... Aha, if I just do that, does that mean I'm buying energy cells? Okay. Energy cells. Okay, so yeah. I've reduced my cash. Now if I pick those up and fly them elsewhere, I should make some cash, right? That's my plan. So let's undock. And we're going to find the military outpost again. Okay, accelerate away. There's a military outpost. Military command rejected. Oh. Too close to station for autopilot. I gotta get further away. There, let's use Seda to move out. Docking granted. There, autopilot excellent. Activated. And Seda speed, so I'll be able to go in and talk to this dude. Yeah, I actually also had somebody from uh, EgoSoft basically say, "Oh, great, you're playing playing our X games. Does that mean I have to make Kerbal videos now?" And uh, no, because everybody's waiting for X Rebirth, and we really would like it. It would be fabulous to have it. Promptly, Sergeant. I believe you've already met Administrator Colburn of John Fricot. Yes, it was a brief encounter, but one that almost ruined months of work. Still, I understand why the military wants to keep tabs on us during a war, especially with these accusations. Administrator Colburn was just proposing a very interesting arrangement. Something I think is quite suited to your skill set. We are aware of a possible league within John Furco, and in addition to that, the Terrans are actively attacking our assets. Our focus is still to continue developing the highway technology and building a test bed in Albion. But with these constant attacks and a potential leak, it is becoming quite difficult. John Fricot are just as concerned with finding their technology on Terran ships as we are. You will be tasked with aiding Jean Fricot in protecting their ships and continuing the investigation into how the Terrans have gotten access to this research. You will report to Administrator Colburn for assignments, but be aware that you could be pulled back to frontline service at any time. The first job is one you are already familiar with. We are delivering several prototype highway gates to the Paranid. The ship carrying the gates is already en route. Please join the escort group while it travels to the drop-off point. I've arranged for control of a new ship to be transferred to you for this mission. Additional support ships will be standing by if needed. But we don't want to draw attention to the convoy unless necessary. Dismissed. Okay, so I've got to protect the John Furco Supply Mammoth in Interworlds. I've been given an M6 class center. I have no idea how big an M6 is. But I did read a really nice article that explained all these different things. So, we have a centaur. And what I do is advance, change ship, I guess, right? Aha! Oh, I never did sell my thing, didn't I? I Hold on. Landed ships, my Nova prototype, advanced... Change well, ship the and girl, trade energy cells. Aha! So I can sell some of these. Energy cells are I'll leave 20 in my ship and I should make a little bit of a profit the there. Known universe. The unification of the energy storage ah. specifications there we go. There we go. So I've actually figured that out. Okay. Next thing is, since I'm doing this thing, 
you know what, do I have to do this mission? Let's see, what does the mission say? It says, protect, show briefing, John for coast supply, interworld, time Attention. limit, Security. no limit. We got a four, six, but as soon as I go six, to interworlds, I'm four, guessing in I will have, I will have to do, so interworlds, I wonder how I get there. It seems to be actually showing me a bit of the map. I have no idea where these things are, but nevertheless, uh, well, okay, so I could continue to work on, like, making money because they gave me, like, you know, two minutes to try and make some more money to upgrade my ships, or I could follow this mission. And I think I'm going to follow this mission, so I need to go into this... Ad why is advanced... Why is it change ship under the advanced menu? Okay, so I should be able to undock now. Uh, let's actually take a look at this ship, even. Um... Is this... Why is that the, the ship? It looks like an eject button. It's like... It confuses me. The Centaur... Was the Centaur! Shipwrights in High energy Island. plasma throwers. Bra Banshee missiles. Slow but as is anything. Much smaller than a frigate. And it has lots of missiles. Okay. Um, great! Maybe I could try doing a trade run with this thing. Let, let's try that. Let's, um, I'm going to try just doing a trade run with this thing. So I want to undock. And that tells me where it thinks it wants me to go. But now where are we? Oh, wow. Oh, so these things don't dock in docking bays, huh? So I guess what I'm looking for is... You gotta look for that same solar panel station. Oh, look, and there's an icon there. Aha, read those icons alongside the screen for fun and profit. So fly towards it. Docking granted. Let's try this now. Let's watch it fly in with a... It does, it does look kind of interesting. Five nodes. Why only five? Why not six? And three, it's like Fibonacci numbers or something. One, one, two, three, five, eight. Yes. Thirteen, twenty-one. Success Mathematics is the language of nature. Okay, let's try buying these again. How many can I fit in my ship? Ten thousand this time, and it seems that I make... Uh, about 20, 30 percent, 40 percent profit even, 30 percent profit, so it should be like 13k if I take these, so yes, oh actually I can fit some more, aha, there, okay, yes, energy cells bought, and now I shall find a place to take them, that's, the, it's, what is that? Federal Argon Shipyard. Federal Argon Shipyard. I wonder what, Command how much the price is there. Oh yeah, I gotta move away from the station first. Let's take a look around behind me. No. Oh yeah, that's nice. It kind of moves the camera. I guess. Yeah, that's in the hat of the joystick. Be nice to have like a view backwards button, but I guess that's too complicated. Okay, try Locking shift dock granted. now. Autopilot activated. Yes, autopilot, do your thing. I'm just going to fly around and see if I can get a good price for these energy cells, just so I can get an idea of how the trading works. Now, I understand that eventually, as uh, you go through, you can start to build these stations yourself, but, you know, I'm just learning to fly around. I understand also that the economy kind of works on its own, that these energy cells uh, are pretty much used by everything. But then there's different parts of the supply chain as we build things. And so moving stuff along the supply chain is a way to make money. So let's take a look at the trade menu and see. Successfully docked. Yes. On behalf of our president and senator, yep, the yep, yep. Federation is honored to welcome Products. you aboard. Oh, you guys don't buy anything? Local trading network established. You'd produce Mammoth, Nova, Vanguard. Okay, well, I guess you guys don't actually produce anything. When, oh, when the mosquito! Oh, wow! These produce like missile factories retired, and stuff here. The Argon military was left without an empty. Okay, fighter. I'm not gonna go here. That's no good. So that's a military station there. And what is that there? Let's try targeting this thing. Oh, let's try targeting this thing Federal here. Argon shipyard. 
What's that? Large orbital weapons platform. Ooh, do you think they have a need for... Is there a way for me to find out whether they have a need for what I'm looking for? Uh, yeah, I'll check the comments tomorrow, obviously, because it won't help you. It won't help if you tell me now. Docking denied. Oh, I can't dock there. Oh, look, there's somebody with a C next to them. I think that might mean there's a mission there. High energy plasma thrower forge. Ooh. Alpha. Yes, let's go there. Docking granted. Autopilot active. Autopilot active, and they're, they're a place that they make high energy plasma throwers. Which, um, presumably this is talking about, um, you know, molec you know, ionized plasma rather than, say, blood plasma. Because it would be very poor weapon if it threw plasma over the enemy. Ah, oh, we're going to get you all wet with kind of, you know, sugary water, sugary salty water. I, I heard an interesting story the other day, actually, that in, in times of, um... In times of dire need, apparently, it has been demonstrated that you can use coconut water as blood plasma substitute. Let's see if I can sell energy cells. Ah, oh, they don't. They don't need them. Secondary resources. is so dangerous that the weapon had to go through many years of research and development before it could be put on the market. I see. To work around this, a radiation sink was included in the weapon's design to purge the weapon of all excess radiation between shots. That sounds like made-up science to me. I love it, but it sounds like they totally made that stuff up. Okay, what else is this? What is this here? That is heavy a heavy weapons, weapons complex. complex. Let's dock there. Command rejected. Ah. Let's go faster. And dock. Autopilot off. Docking granted. Yes, Autopilot there we go. Activated. Ah, come on. I'm just lay learning the lay of the land. I know there's probably all sorts of face palming going on. Uh, the problem is, right, that this thing wants to be full screen, right? It displays a menu, a, a window for me, and I can't move the mouse out of the window. On behalf of our president and senator, yep. the trade. Ah, oh, there you can. You're buying energy cells, so I shall sell you some. To local trading network established. Yay! I made some cash. Okay. So, Let's get back on this mission. What did they make? Cluster flackaways. Is that a cl cluster flack? And crystals. I wonder where crystals are made. I presume they are made in crystal foundries. Okay, uh, undock. Now, let's actually go on the mission that we were supposed to be doing. There we go. Okay, so apparently even looking around and messes up my time acceleration. No aim. No, no aim. Oh yeah, I gotta target it. Gate. Autopilot off. Autopilot. Autopilot activated. Yay, okay. Autopilot, do my work for me. You're not Mech Jeb, you're a built-in autopilot. Since you're not modded in, it's okay for you to do autopiloting, apparently. That's the rules by which people live. SOBB34. Aha. Uh -huh. That, um... Uh... I'm sure there's a joke to be made about that. I mean, everybody right now is making the Xbox 180 joke. I mean, really, it is a victory for uh, sanity and DRM-free gaming. You know, it, it is magnificent to see Microsoft finally turning, caving into pressure. Of course, there's many other stupid things they've done, and, you know... The PlayStation 4 is still cheaper and more capable. It's only the only thing that Xbox has is that connect thing. Mammoth. Okay, we're going to this mammoth. Well, how how do we get there? Autopilot off. Autopilot there we go. There, it'll fly towards it again. I'm hoping it'll fly towards. I'm hoping it won't ram it. And stay alert. We're oh. continuing towards the south gate. Autopilot off. Okay, I like your glasses, lady. Okay. Free Argon Trading Station. 
Wow, this thing turns like a very slow turny thing. I'm hoping that I don't have to do much fighting in it, because this seems like a really bad thing for me to be fighting in. Ooh, pretty nice though. Uh oh. So, okay, so I guess we fall towards the sector. We've detected Terran ships in the sector. Their target is unknown. Argon military are on their way. Well, let me put it this way. You are a story-based mission. If there are Terran ships in the neighborhood, they're very likely to be going after you. I mean, sorry to break it to you like that, but that's the way stories work. It's very rare that they don't have anything to do with us. Okay. What do I do here? Do I have to just... Can I time accelerate? Oh, there we have Turin ships. Okay. Okay, now I can find these things. Aha! Let's target them. Are these Terran ships? Terran, Terran Raider! Okay. Where's this one? Here. Uh oh, there we go. Aha! Aha, ha, yeah, I'm using the right mouse button to aim here. Ha <laughs> ha That was. That was pretty good. Okay. Next one. As a reward, you get one th the Terrans are targeting us. Take them out. I'm doing that. Taking them out for get a nice See you on the other side. See you on the other side. Ha. Come on, target. No. Target. Oh wait, damn, there's ones over there. Military Claymore. What do we have that's nearby? Man, this thing turns Come on! There we ah, no Saber. aim. Target is now in firing. Target is now in firing range and is going to be fired upon. Just don't get too close to my ship. I don't want to be shooting my own dude. Aha! Plasma yeah. throw. This is totally the trick to. This is totally the trick. I'm just flying with the the joystick. I kind of line it up. Uh, oh, there he is. There. Missile closing. Missile closing. I have no idea what to do about that. I did download some script, but I have no idea how to actually use it. Where is the Terran? Okay. Well, I'm guess I'm just going to rely on my extra powerful shields to block it. Beep, 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 beep. Yep. Okay. Terran military claymore. Terran military claymore. Phantom missile. This is a phantom missile? Terran military claymore. Yes. I'm just gonna rely on the turrets. I think because this doesn't need to shoot down the boar site, it doesn't matter that it maneuvers like terribly. Oh! Well, so much for having awesome shields on this. Wish I'd saved, huh? I think uh, top priority will have to be uh, defense against missiles. I hear there is a mosquito, like an anti-missile script that uses mosquitoes, but I don't actually know how that gets triggered, so I'm still kind of in the dark. But presumably there is an answer to my conundrum out there somewhere. I shall do some more trading, do some more reading, and next time I shall defeat this mission. But until then, I am Scott Manley. Fly safe.